Hey guys and welcome back to Codeflix. So in this video we will be seeing a simple password toggle button and I'll tell you what the problem is. So let's first quickly get an input type of password. Uh, so it is password and let's quickly give it an ID because IDs are necessary when using JavaScript because in this video we'll be using JavaScript. So I gave ID password input, close the tag. Now let's just save this and run this. I refresh it. And whenever I enter a password, it just gives us dots. But what if we want to see the password? So there's a there's a trick which I usually use and many of us use. I just go to inspect. I'll just change it to laptop IDPI. So as you can see, there are the dots. And I just change the type to text. And I can see the text here. But for those guys who are not very into the tech, what will they do they need obviously they need a toggle button on the side they need a toggle button on the side and if i refresh it it's gone so they need a toggle button on the side to see the password so we'll be making a simple toggle button today so for that let's just quickly code the toggle button so the toggle button has an id of toggle button and let's give it a name toggle so this is the only HTML code we'll be doing. Now let's jump on to the normal JavaScript code. So I'll declare a const and I'll declare, declare a password button. It's a document dot query selector. And then we'll give the ID of the password input, which is hashtag password input. That's it. Now we also get the const button toggle button and it's the same process oh sorry document dot query selector and then we give the id of the toggle button which is toggle button now what we will do is we will add a click event on this toggle button we will add a click event on this toggle button so for that we have to write a simple code which is toggle button dot add event listener and then what are we adding a click event and then what do we need the click event to do so we'll write a function in it so this function will check if the id is text if the input type is password or text if it is password it will quickly convert it to text if it is text it should convert it to password back so for that we will give use a simple if statement so if pwd button dot type and we will be using strong type checking so a triple equals and the type should be password so if the type is password we will change the pwd button dot type which is the type of the button to text so that the users can see it else if the pwd button type is text we will change it to pwd uh, button dot type it should be password again so this is the simple code for a normal toggle button I'll quickly refresh it and on refreshing you can see the button so whenever I type here and when I click on toggle it just toggles the normal password that I have typed and when I click toggle again it just gives the password type back so usually people keep different icons or animations you can keep it simple or you can also try animations for that you just have to give something here just give an i tag and you are good to go so that's for today's video and this is a simple toggle button that we made just in a few minutes or a few seconds you can say so that's for today's video uh, i hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel thanks